I'm Chris with Wobbly Otter Outdoors and this is the ramp to get our dogs into our rooftop tent. When we take the dogs camping with us, they need a way to get in and out of the tent, so the project to build the ramp was born. 3 8 inch plywood is supported by three 1 by 2 boards, the rails. The ramp is 12 feet long and 17 inches wide. It's in two sections that are each 6 feet long. Outdoor carpeting is on the walking surface. The support boards are three 6 foot 1 by 2s that are placed across the joint of the two sections and are bolted to the rails to hold the two ramp halves together. We had hoped the carpet would be easy on the pup's feet, preventing splinters and give them traction. The carpet turned out to be kind of slippery when Vivo walked on it. Small boards placed across the ramp every 9 inches or so work like steps to give the dogs better footing. The sharp edges of the steps are removed with a plane, then sanded smooth, making them more comfortable to walk on. The air compressor makes quick work of blowing off the sanding dust and wood shavings. Steve loves biting the air from the hose. The rooftop tent is on top of our Morris Mule trailer which puts the bottom of the tent about 5 feet 7 inches off the ground. Two large rings on the end of the ramp go over bolts on the trailer rack. A large washer and a wing nut keep the rings from slipping out of place. A brace is used to support the center of the ramp. Okay, well that works.
For travel, the support boards are removed from the rails and the two ramp sections are placed side by side and then bolted together. The support boards are also bolted to the rails for travel. The whole thing slides into the trailer rack directly under the tent. The large rings on the end of the ramp are used to keep it from sliding out of the rack. A large washer and wing nut secure the ramp in place. Out the back about six inches, six or eight. About eight inches. About eight. Thank you for watching and subscribing to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. We really appreciate your support.